By contrast, Mr Verhofstadt, the Liberal, did not even want to allow Prime Minister Viktor Orban to defend his own country or, t or to be allowed to reply at the end of the debate. Why is it that you, the accusers, are afraid to give the accused the opportunity to speak? Are you so terrified of the truth? Mr Verhofstadt has a question to Mr Sayer. It was totally untrue and I ask you to confirm that I never opposed that Mr Orban could reply. I only proposed that the Parliament has the last word in the debate. That was, has been decided in the Conference of Presidents. It's a completely lie what you have said there, Mr. Sarr. Yeah, I can emphatically confirm that that is the case. Uh, you actually encouraged me to follow that line. That was a question to you and to me. Go on, Mr. Sayer. Esteemed members, this is not the first debate involving Hungary that's been held and on many occasions Mr. Verhofstadt has voiced his opinion that it's not right for Prime Ministers to take the floor here in the Parliament and I would also like to point out that here the country who's, which you are talking about, we've got accusations being levelled against Hungary and you know there's a lot of speakers for the other side of the case. But, you know, even Stalin in the show trials gave more time to those who are, were being put in the dock for condemnation than has been the case in this proceeding. So enough is enough. Mr. Sayer, you cannot compare this debate to Stalin's show trials. With the utmost respect for the level of emotion in this debate, that is unacceptable. Two things are unacceptable. Mr. Hofstadt is emphatically one of the members of this House and one of the members of the Conference of Presidents who have encouraged me to allow heads of state and government from the European Council to address the chamber as much as possible. What you have just accused him of is quite simply not true. And I'm telling you now again, comparing a debate in this chamber on the basis of speaking time, which is based on the size of political groups, with the show trials under Stalin is a serious offence. I think that uh, Mr. Orban is playing that very emotional saying, yeah, it is uh, uh, an attack on, on Hungary, what is uh, completely uh, uh, not true. Well, the problem is, uh, is that you have another concept of democracy than what is in fact in our uh, treaties. That's the problem. I have that problem already a long time. It's not from uh, yesterday that it started. Your vision about democracy is if you have a majority, then I can do what I want because I have the majority. While already John Stuart Mill in the 19th century has, uh, in an important book on liberty, described that a democracy is not a dictatorship of a majority. Also, a majority has limits. Also, a majority has to respect rules, has to respect uh, minorities, for example, has to respect fundamental rights. And there is your problem. Because the Venice Committee is 90 times saying that you are not doing that. And the only thing what you can respond to us is, yeah, I have put a memorandum to the President of the Parliament. No, what I wanted to hear from you is 90 times that the Venice Commission was wrong. And why the Venice Commission is wrong? There is one paragraph in the 146 paragraphs of the Venice Commission who is in fact a positive one for Hungary, saying, yeah, there they are in compliance with what we ask. That is paragraph 143. On all the others, they are criticizing Hungary and they are asking changes based on that fundamental principle. There is a great, uh, great novelist, a great writer in your country, Mr. Torki Konrad, who has the best described what your problem is. You have created from a democracy in Hungary a démocratie. A démocratie is not a democracy. And 
We are asking that in the European Parliament. Why? Because we have to defend it. You have said in your intervention, oh, I deny the right of the European Parliament to intervene in, in the lives of the ordinary citizens uh, in, in Hungary. Why are you saying that? It's our task, it's our obligation, in fact, to defend the interest of your citizens. Because you're doing it. The only interest you're defending is your own interest, yep. your own political interest. Thank you very much, Mr. Verhofstadt. The next